My name's A. Perez Voyages. I've voyaged in many ways across the world, but there is truly no better way than to travel freely by sail across the sea. It's been a dream of mine, and that is traveling by boat, traveling by sail, finding someone who needs space, extra crew to help on the boat, and be able to cross from one island to the next. In the Pacific Islands, I feel like that's the, that's the real way to travel. Vavo is not known so much for its beauty on land. It's known for its many islands, making it one of the, one of the bigger sailing destinations of the South Pacific. And because of that, I felt it was the, it was the perfect place to try, to try to basically hitch a ride on a sail. So trying my luck here in the marina. It is a, it's a pretty popular sailing destination. I've always wanted to, to, to sail, and more so recently, now that I'm a hitchhiker, hitch a sail over to another island. And being that I'm in the Pacific Islands, it, there's no better place in the world than to try to find the ride by, uh, by sail. This is very new to me. I understand the concept of how to do this. I talked to the local manager at this bar and connected me on a radio to talk to, connect with some some people on boats possibly find the ride over to Fiji or even Wallace and Futuna. I don't know how, how lucky people get, but I did get lucky to connect with one guy who may be interested in, in taking me on board, even with zero experience. But I did admit that you know, I have zero experience and I would like to have some experience to be able to take me. But the best thing I can live with is that I tried. It turns out someone from Sweden needed somebody or just wanted somebody to join him on on his boat because he had been sailing alone for quite some time, wanted some, some extra help and just wanted some company. It turns out we both have not only the same travel itinerary, travel path. He was going to go to New Zealand, but he was looking to go to Fiji and some, some island countries in the north, which is where I'm going. We met, we decided that we were compatible travel partners and the next day, I went on his boat to see the boat and to also try to help out as best as possible. We had some issues with the injector. We diagnosed it was a chipped injector, fixed that, and did some other things to help out to, to prepare for the journey. We both fixed everything that we needed. Yesterday, I met up with him to set the course and it's official. I am about to embark on my first sail on this voyage. Today is the last day in Tonga, I've been here four weeks, and today is the day I leave Tonga by sail off to Fiji. I'm excited to share this journey, these are my experiences, and I'm ready to go, I'm ready to do this, and uh, be a true voyager. <laughs> Bye! First sailing journey in this entire voyage. Leaving Tonga was emotional. I spent a month in the country and enjoyed the friendliness of the people, but uh, was ready to embark on a new journey and enjoy my first sail of my life. What about there? 
it's kind of hard to document as I don't exactly have a waterproof case as well as pay attention to navigate and doing things on the boat. I, uh, I navigated the motor outside of uh, Babao Harbor, had to hop on the GPS into the coordinates of the waypoints to, to Fiji to be able to, to be on track and, and navigate smoothly over to Fiji. Looking at about a four to five day trip, depending on the wind. Right now, we're at two to three knots, which is not not quite fast. And having no sailing experience can come with its uh, come with its challenges, as I don't exactly know what to do. I don't know how to tie a rope quite well. I don't know how to set sail and do some things. But this is all a learning experience, and this is something I, I communicated that I'm on for. Uh, the experience and I will, I will work for that experience in order to, to be able to do this again in the future. To no surprise, there isn't really much to do, which is okay. I've written in my last postcard to, uh, to kind of tell about my experiences in Babao and Tonga. I do have a journal to write in, which I'll probably write in tomorrow. A lot of time to enjoy the vast blue ocean and simply relax, listen to the ocean, enjoy the rockiness, and just enjoy the ride. Captain and I getting along very well. I'm getting familiarized around the boat, getting familiarized around the kitchen so I could start making coffee and trying to cook, try to take turns. The hardest part about this journey that I'm having to get used to is uh, I'm pretty tired. You, with two people on a boat, it's best to take turns uh, resting, to keep a lookout for boats and for squalls at night. Just look out for any dangers that may be out at, at sea. This is my first night, so it was like two hours sleep, two hours on, two hours sleep. And uh, you don't really get much sleep in that, but it's a good way to transition, to extend the time uh, watching at night to sleeping at night. And day three was a long day at sea, but pretty relaxing. Getting accustomed to how things are on the boat. Night watches aren't as uh, tiresome, even though they're still very tiresome. We sighted some Fijian islands, but we also caught massive fish, huge fish. Day four is a bit more cloudy, a bit more rough seas, but we're starting to enter the Fijian island group. We're starting to see more islands about to turn our course towards the main island, Fiji level. I'm starting to feel a bit gritty, a bit dirty from all the salt and the sweat, so I'm kind of overdue for a shower at sea. Traveling by sail is is rewarding, but it, it is a lot of work. And I, as a crew, and with no experience, you know, it's, it's, I'm not even doing a fraction of what the captain does on any sail. But the things that I do do, making sure everything's well maintained, the proper sail, the tying the ropes properly, enough food on board to last us until the next port. I mean, the list goes on. We're here in Suva, Fiji. This is the first port of many across Fiji. I think the hardest part about sailing is finding the means to sleep and get a good night's rest, just simply rest, period. I can't imagine being just one person where you have to keep watch at night. You sleep for about 20, 25 minutes and have to keep a lookout for boats and squalls and, and bad weather. But even so, with the, the rock, the rocky motion of the boat, I didn't find myself sleeping very much. Besides sleep, I think the next hard part is using the toilet while the boat is rocking. And I'm not talking about peeing, I'm talking about 
while some sails they do have a shower this boat doesn't uh, it's no different than me camping in some fresh water or water from a bottle and doing a quick wipe besides all that there's nothing more freeing in travel than being on a sailboat just going with the wind there really isn't much to do on board which means you have all the means to simply kick back reflect on the past embrace the present and prepare for the future which is where you're going to be going next with the boat that's my first sail experience. I hope this is an inspiration for you to get on a boat and do the same as I'm doing because this, this is a true definition of a voyage. Happy sailing.